All right, today on Study Ball, we are heading out to Pittsburgh. A lot of excitement about this Pittsburgh Steelers team. Very young offensively, built around their young second-year quarterback in Kenny Pickett. But I thought Kenny Pickett showed that he belongs as a starting quarterback in the National Football League and got better and better and better throughout the season. Got him on a run late, right? They lost a number of games early, but he got him on a run late, almost got them into the playoffs. Um, and you always like to look at key matchups late in the year to see who a quarterback is. So we're gonna take a look at the Steelers-Ravens game late in the year. Big time moment, both teams needed uh, you know, this game to kind of make their advancement to the playoffs. And how would this young quarterback show up in this tough environment, in that black and blue division? Uh, how would he show up and play in this big moment? Let's go to the film. Division rival, on the road, late in the year, game you need to win, rookie year. Okay, it's something that I think he does really well. Throws really well on the run, come out early in the game, give your quarterback an easy completion. We're just gonna go high, low, over here to the left-hand side, a little bit tougher here, going left, gonna read that corner. What does the corner do? Corner turns, hips, carries, boom, balls out of your hands, right there, right? Still in a position to cover it if you hesitate, but great job reading the corner, seeing the hips, ball out of your hands, get a completion, let your guy turn the corner. Okay, so again, this is something, right? You gotta get better kind of on schedule, but did a really good job all year when things broke down, when he didn't see things very well of creating. Now, not necessarily a great play right here. We're going here, we're running a return, guy inside, guy outside, we're running a return, guy sitting there and clamping on him. So really not any options for the quarterback here and he knows it. Okay, so now I gotta buy a little bit of time. Negotiate the pocket a little bit, where's my check down? I like it, boom, right here, go get a completion. Right, it's third and short. All I need to do is get to the sticks. Right there, flip your hips, get to the sticks, get a first down, move the chains. All right, so a similar concept to what we saw in that sprint out. We're gonna go here and run it out. Then we're gonna come off of this and run a corner, and then we're gonna have something coming into our vision from there, okay? So right here, boom, he's setting up to throw the out. Doesn't like it? That guy's there. Now I'd like to see him reset. We've got leverage to the corner. Reset and just let it go. Let it go, trust it, trust it. Be ready, you're not there, reset. Again, right there, you see it? We got leverage, throw it to the back pylon. That's going to be your best opportunity instead of trying to work all the way to the backside on this. But again, trying to make a play on the run. I wanted to show this one here, right? Because he's moving. You got Najee Harris coming down here in a one-on-one -on -one situation. Trying to put this on the back shoulder. Ah, just missed it. Out of bounds. That's going to come back into play later in this game. All right. I like it. Just going to run a curl and a flat. Now, I don't normally like this when they go cover two. like to see him recognize that cover two over there. Right? Not necessarily... Great situation. We've got basically a mirrored route both ways. So not necessarily a cover two beater. A lot of times we go into our one-on-one -on -one right here or we come back, corner stays soft. Maybe I think about just checking this down, but does a nice job as he comes over to this direction to see Hamilton get out of his responsibility and start chasing the flat, right? Another rookie, rookie on rookie, right? Look over there, force him to move even though he should never move in this coverage. Now we get our curl back to this side. Like I said, rather see him go over here because the corner's off. Now we basically get three on two off of those two underneath defenders, but might have been fooled a little bit because that corner was soft, missed the roll, but did a nice job of negotiating the defender and get a nice completion. Okay, how do you handle pressure? Okay, how do you handle pressure? That's a big part of it, bringing a hot right here. Now, 
Your team's got to give you some answers too. They're trying to run a double move and then they're running a return off of that. So you don't really have anybody looking right now against the pressure, right? Nobody's looking, everybody's running their route. So you put your quarterback in a bad spot right here because you don't give him an answer. Normally what we do, if this guy brings pressure, I want to peek right here. As this guy starts to go to the flat, he needs to peek to be the hot. He doesn't get it, then run your return. Otherwise, we're leaving our quarterback out to drive. But again, nice job avoiding pressure, trying to make a play down the sideline. Seaver steps out of bounds here, so it's illegal touching. But you see, good job avoiding the pressure, making up for a bad play call in terms of a hot, and making a play. Here we go again. Coming back, going to try to find his one-on-one -on -one to the outside. Quick pressure. We miss up front. That was an issue last year with the Steelers at times. Oh, but he's able to bail him out. You see just enough athleticism, right, to be able to avoid the pressure, find somebody on the move, give yourself a chance. Another one on the move. So an outside release here and they're running a choice route, I believe, right? And so this guy that's running the choice kind of turns back into the defender, doesn't give Kenny a great opportunity to complete this. I think he was expecting him to push up and break outside, which is where the window is right there, but doesn't really have anything right here. Another tough one, right? We got to go, we got to go. We got one guy hooking here and then one guy trying to find a window. I don't really know what the concept is, but Again, Kenny, buying some time, on the move, flips his hips, finds his receiver, gets another first down, on the move. This is where he really excelled last year was his ability to create an ad-lib, where I want him to see, where do I want to see him get better in 2023, is his ability to play on schedule, on time. Okay, another big time throw right here. Run that deep curl once again with the flat come out and look at it. I thought maybe there's enough distance here. You just take the flat, but he's also aggressive right here. Feels that guy turning. Got a little bit of a window there. Watch it. He's going to throw this thing off the ear of that inside defender, throw it to the inside of his receiver away from the DB. Oh, nice catch by George Pickens, but great throw, big second level throw and first down for the Steelers. Okay, so here we go with that same concept again. Shallow, choice, go, go. Again, don't know really what you're supposed to read. I guess you're just hoping that your choice route gets open. And again, they clamp it, they clamp it. This guy's here. Nothing with those two safeties back running the go routes. Forcing your quarterback, right? Could have thrown the check down, I suppose, but forcing him to move again because you're not giving him a lot of options. Moving, buying time flipping the hips, getting a completion, picking up six yards. So he ultimately gets to his check down, maybe get there on schedule. Once you look over here, see the clamp, okay? Come back here, reading this guy shallow to check down, get the ball out of your hands, but he just wasn't quite there yet last year, but does a nice job of making another play. Okay, so we got corner. Hook, flat, the old popcorn concept. What are we reading? Reading the outside linebacker, okay? He buzzes hard outside, we look to get the hook. He stays high, gets engaged with the hook a little bit like he does there. You got that cushion, get the ball out to your flat right now. Boom, gets it out to his flat, let him turn the corner. Nice little gain, another first down. Now, the other thing, right? See the pressure. Know where your pressure situation is. Looks like this is where their hot is over there. So see that stuff. Get the ball out of your hands. I'm not mad at him for going to the front side, but maybe the easier throw off of pressure. Go away from rotation because there's all those bodies, right? See all those bodies back here? Go to your one-on-one -on -one here to here. Burst that pressure, but still makes a good decision. Gets the first down right there. 
All right, so the first part of this game, right? We've seen some ups and downs, right? He does some good things, handles some things well, but he misses some things also. Just being a rookie, that's what it's all about. Bottom line is when you're working through some of those growing pains, do you elevate your game at the big moments? Can you make some big time plays uh, at key times in big division rival games like this? So we see a little bit that, of that from Kenny Pickett. Will we see more of that as we get into part two?